Okay, now we're going to show you how to change the physical filters and the software filter numbers in the software. The first place you want to go over is to this wrench icon and click on it and click on the filters tab and you'll see all the currently existing filters that are in your system. If you have bought a new filter and you want to add it to this list, you can see the empty portions that we want to use. If you have uh, a filter swap that you'd like to do, and you want to change a 355 out for a 365, then we're just simply going to edit that filter, remove the old one and put the new one in, and change the number. So the password for editing these files is BMG. So if you go up here and click in the password area and type in BMG, now with it, you'll see that those numbers are editable. So I want to be very careful when I'm adding new filters to make sure and look on the side of the filter to type in exactly the number that's on that filter that's in your hands. So once I know if that's a 365 filter, I'm just going to type in 365 for the excitation filter, and I'm done. I just hit OK. If I want to go back and put in the other filter name, I can do that as well. So 